It is a classic tale of love and treachery, a story that takes place during the Holocaust and views Jews in a sympathetic light. It's a popular television show, and as Bachman Kalbasi reports, it's broadcast in the most unlikely place. A hugely popular TV series, a vibrant drama, a love story between a Muslim man and a Jewish woman. <laughs> Not only does it acknowledge the Holocaust, it is also sympathetic to the plight of Jewish people during the Second World War. There have been other programs like this. The surprise, though, is where zero degree turn is made. Iran, the country where the president has publicly and repeatedly denied the Holocaust. In this scene, Jewish men, women and children are loaded into trucks by Nazi soldiers. The Iranian hero asks, where are they taking them? The fascists are taking the Jews to the concentration camps. Worried for the fate of the Jewish woman he loves, Habib Parsa forges Iranian passports for her and her family. It's all based on a true story of an Iranian diplomat who forged dozens of passports for Jews to escape. This is Iran's version of Schindler's List. The show's appearance, despite Ahmadinejad's outrageous pronouncements, is an astonishing revelation to millions of viewers. Iranian Jews from Tehran to Toronto are no exception. I've seen all episodes of this TV series, says this Iranian viewer. Fortunately, it shows a true image of Jews. The Amani family is Jewish. They left Iran over 20 years ago. They are stunned at what they're watching. Actually, I am very, very moved and pleasantly surprised about that. And now the turn really is not the zero degree turn, it's 180 degree turn. Iran's state-run TV network has spent generously on the series, hiring A-list Iranian movie stars. It has broken major taboos by allowing the actresses to appear without the Islamic veil and show their hair. It begs the question, why invest so lavishly on a show about something Iran's president denies ever happened? The question really has to do with the complexity of Iran. When we are talking about Iran, Iran cannot be reduced to Ahmadinejad and utterances of Ahmadinejad in year 2000, 2005. Some analysts believe Ahmadinejad's statements have long made those really in charge of Iran uncomfortable and eager to change direction. Ahmadinejad is not the supreme authority uh, in Iran and he does not have control over, uh, uh, for example, Iranian national television. It adds to the, to the beauty of it. For the Amanis, the series is restoring their faith in their homeland. That's what we expect from the, you know, the country that we lived with the Muslim population for thousands of years. We went through a lot of uh, ups and downs together. Iran is home to the largest Jewish population in the Middle East outside of Israel. The show's appearance is seen as an attempt by Iran's religious leaders to reintegrate its Jewish population into society inside Iran and paint a more moderate image of itself outside of the country. Bahman Kalbasi, CBC News, Toronto. A breaking story now from the Northwest Territories. The RCMP is confirming that one of its officers has been shot and killed.